Hey, it's Airlines 101 with Laura, and today we're on a field trip to go find the Gray County VOR and find out how it works. While we're on the way to the VOR, let's look at this chart and think about where VORs are located. They're not always at airports. Some are at airports, but many others are close by and sometimes they are part of an instrument approach, as we can see on this approach here at East Texas Regional Airport, which is the ILS or Localizer 1-3, and you can see the VOR indicated by this symbol on the approach chart. Oh, made it. So let's get out and check it out and see what the VOR looks like. Now this VOR is not at East Texas Regional Airport. It is actually out in a field, and you can see it behind me right here. That is the VOR way out there in the field. So. If you are driving around and you see something like this, like this VOR, you might wonder, what is that thing? So, the VOR is a ground-based navigation aid. The FAA does not have plans to get rid of VORs because we still need a backup to the GPS satellite system. And the VOR is a great backup to the GPS satellite system if we ever need to revert to ground-based navigational aids. Now the VOR has two different signals being sent out and actually, interestingly, we're actually getting an airplane flying over this VOR right now. And you can probably hear it flying by. The VOR has two signals that are sent out from it that your airplane's receiver is going to pick up. The first phase that you pick up is the reference phase, and this is being sent out the same in all 360 degrees of the compass rows coming out from the VOR. The next phase is the variable phase, and this phase actually varies depending on which direction you are from the VOR. It's sent out in 360 different ways from the VOR. And basically, it is like two sine waves overlaid with each other. We have one sine wave that's our your reference phase and one sine wave is the variable phase and what your airplane's receiver does is it receives these two signals it compares them and it sees how far off from each other are those two phases and however far off they are from each other that is the direction that you are from the VOR and your airplane's receiver figures this out and displays it to you on your cockpit indication so remember that the VOR has two phases the reference phase and the variable phase and it is doing a comparison of those two. So the next time you're out driving around and you see something weird like this weird looking antenna structure just think about the VOR and how it is still a very important ground-based navigational aid used by pilots every day throughout the United States. Comment below. I'd love to hear where you have a VOR near you. If you can find it, um, go on a little wild goose chase. Drive around, find that thing, and take a look. And I'd love to know if it looks like this VOR, if it looks like different VOR setups. There's some interesting ones that you see if you're driving into DFW Airport. Check that out. Um, but see you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and continue to share the views from this channel. Thanks, guys. See ya.